Hi, my name is Lewis, and today I will show you how you can get your own Microsoft test tenant. This tenant can be used for all of your wild experiments, for example, messing around with the Graph API, exploring the functionalities of Azure Active Directory, maybe implement a conditional access policy, or just create a compliancy policy via Intune. It's all possible via the test tenant that I'm going to show you right now, and you don't have to worry if you mess up. It's your own private sandbox environment where you can play around and learn. If you go to developer.microsoft.com to the dev program section, um, I will put the link in the description, you can enroll for a Microsoft 365 E5 developer subscription. Um, there, you can enroll using your private Microsoft account. Um, if you're a student, you can use your, try it using your um, educational account if it's a Microsoft account, or just use your professional Microsoft account. Um, it depends on what you want to use. As I don't have to show you guys how to fill in the form, I went ahead and already logged into my test tenant. Um, as you can see, you get a renewable E5 subscription with 25 user licenses. Meaning if you stay active on this tenant, it will auto renew and you can keep using your test tenant. Uh, the cool part about these developer tenants is that they come with some set of data packs. Um, in total, we actually have three sample data packs. Um, I already activated one, that's the user data pack. Um, it creates 16 fictitious users with licenses and mailbox, including names, metadata, photos for each user. Um, it just creates a great context for you to experiment with. Um, also, you can activate the mail and events package that will um, add Outlook email conversations, um, calendar events for each of the 16 users you just generated using the user data pack. Um, also, you could use the SharePoint data pack. Um, it will create a, a default SharePoint after completing a wizard. Um, if you want to practice on SharePoint security, on SharePoint configuration, that's also an option. And this is where it gets interesting. With enrolling to the Microsoft Developer Program, you get access to a lot of their security solutions. As a security engineer, you will have to perform many tasks or find information on one of these platforms in order to reach your objective. For example, the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, not security related, not purely though, but you can't work without it. The same for the Exchange Online Admin Center. Um, notice that both of these were, are still in Dutch. Um, my language settings haven't loaded correctly yet. Um, we also have, for example, Microsoft 365 Security, Microsoft 365 Compliance, Office 365 Security and Compliance, Microsoft Cloud App Security, uh, Microsoft Defender for Identity, which is already in the new name because this was previously Azure ATP. Uh, we also have the Intune portal. Um, you can even get your own, well, even logically, you get your own Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Um, and with that center, you also get your own Azure tenant and access to the features of Azure. Note that you don't have any credits on Azure, so there is no paying subscription regis registered on your test tenant. Um, sadly enough, there isn't any Microsoft Defender security license. So MDATP or Defender for Endpoint, there aren't any license included for that, which is a pity, but hey, we get access to a lot of other stuff, which is interesting, and we can experiment with, train and learn from. Many of the things that I will show on my YouTube channel will be performed from my test tenant. The more experienced people watching this video will already know about the developer program, but this is something that helps me on a daily basis in developing my security skills, so why not share it? If you have any question, please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter. Thanks for watching and see you next time.